hi guys welcome to sql server reporting services tutorial series in my last video i showed you how to display the set of records in your report based on the parameter okay well, if i change it to 10 it will display me 10 records okay um, it will take the parameter value as a limit and it will display you the uh, display you that number of records but i don't uh, want to and manually enter the um, page limit or uh, data limit uh, what i want to do is i want to select the value from a drop down okay so to do that functionality you need to go to design so go to parameter and right click on parameter parameter properties come here default value i want to delete this value and I want to go to available values here click on specify values here I will give the uh, some set of values which I want to display on uh, display in drop down say 5 5 another one 10 10 15 15 20 20 ok now click ok and if you come to see your report you will see these uh, numbers will display because these are the numbers which I have just passed in our uh, parameter so if you see like this then 10 records will display and if you select 5 Five records will display okay now we have completely changed the uh, input values uh, from uh, entering a value in text box to selecting a value from drop down so I will repeat once again uh, to display a value uh, some set of values in your drop down you what you need to do is you need to go to your parameter right click and select parameter properties previously you had uh, this specify values selected where I had some uh, one uh, value as a default just uh, move to no default value and come to available values option and select specify values and specify some set of values which you want to display in your drop down and select ok, okay uh, if I come to see your see the report you will see initially you won't see anything if you want to see the report you have to select any one of the number from your drop down then only it will display but I want to display some set of records uh, as soon as I uh, come to see the report okay, to do that you need to go to your para parameter right click on parameter go to parameter properties and come to default values I want to uh, then come to specify values I want to add 5 I want to show 5 records whenever a user come to see the report now click ok and now if you see the report you will see five records will be displayed as soon as you come to your to see your report if i want to change then i can change the values you can see 10 records are displaying okay and this is how you can create the drop down report see in this report uh, the drop down which i am showing is coming from the static values which i have entered in my parameter see here available values i and uh, specify it's as uh, here it's asking uh, us to specify the values and that's why i have specified or entered some set of values but sometimes you want to uh, display the drop down values from your table from your data set so in that case what you need to do is you need to create one table where you have stored the value similar values like this 5 10 15 20 25 and 30 then you need to create a data set uh, and uh, get those values from the data set and then you can use that data set here okay once you create a data set it will display the data set here and then you need to select the values here select the value field and label field that i will explain you um, in my upcoming videos so don't worry about that this is the, this is just i explained the, this is one of the other possibility to display a drop down menu okay i hope you like this video if you 
enjoy this video subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching